Welcome to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you today live from the floor of Data Cloud Global Congress here in beautiful Monaco. And joining me is Walter Everard, CEO of Silver Falcon Data Centers. Thank Great to be here. You, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's It's been a busy week, I'm sure it has been for you. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, it, always so great to come and and chat with new folks. This is our first time uh, talking and, and having an interview of this kind. So pleased to talk to you. I know that there's a bit of a history, but Silver Falcon, uh, my understanding is you were founded in 2021. Uh, talk a little bit about that that yeah. history. So I think the, the our data center uh, experience dates back a little bit longer, but the actual uh, incorporation of the company was in 2021 when we acquired a big uh, data center facility in Amsterdam, uh, right. which was back in the day already known as being a very sustainable development in okay. the port area, Westport. Um, it is, um, let's say, it comes from our history of uh, real estate development and urban redevelopment as we were developing a large um, new city in the city of Amsterdam at Southeast, right. where there's also a lot of data center development going on. So our location for the data center is a little bit more, more northwest of the city. And well, perhaps I'll, uh, I'll continue a little bit on, on the data center itself. It's a uh, 100 MVA utility power, 78 megawatts IT data center, yeah. which it consists of uh, three towers. So it's a phase approach, kind of a campus approach where you have uh, the, the build of the three towers. We started with our first tower uh, last year. So we finalized currently the on-site substation for 100 MVA and we uh, continued with the ground floor and the foundation. So we're going up uh, pretty rapidly now because the, the, the corn shell is going up by the end of this year. Okay. Um, in total, the facility, to give a number of ideas, uh, it's 106,000 square meters of development provides uh, per tower nine uh, data floors. And that's already an interesting thing and probably bridges to some things I wanted to talk about around mm -hmm. sustainability. Right. We have done the design in a way that we can combine uh, traditional air cooling with all kinds of liquid and immersion cooling uh, types of new technologies. So we're, mm -hmm. uh, except for just being sustainable, we're also future proofing in the sense that we, as a, as, a, as a data center provider, but also the sister companies, yeah. uh, firmly believe in uh, immersion cooling, whether it's two-phase or one-phase, mm -hmm. uh, for the future, because it helps us also to reuse the heat. So, you, I mean, just sort of recapping here, so you have, your company has a history in the data center space, formally starting as Silver Falcon Data Centers in 2021, and now mm -hmm. you're building out this facility, which is set, I think, to be fully... Uh, ready to market in 2025, I believe. Yeah, is, beginning is, 25, potentially a little bit earlier for early access, but great. that's, uh, let's say, 2025. That's uh, that's ballpark what we aim for uh, yep. together with our clients. Yeah, fantastic. And and I also understand that since the beginning, you've been very focused on sustainability with a, a real uh, effort and, and uh, promise to be, you know, a a green data center. So you've already talked about some aspects of mm. that, but but how are you really moving forward with that commitment? Yeah. I think this, 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 before we go into, let's say the seven items I want to yeah. just tick okay. off with you, um, it's a very genuine ambition from the group to be uh, as sustainable as we can. Uh, we saw also in the uh, real estate development that we're doing that by combining a number of proven technologies and techniques that we can um, be more efficient with the energy that we use. And for a founder, it was more uh, of a question how that um, energy ecosystem or the energy balance of data centers could be uh, better used in an urban environment. That's why I think the location that we have, right. except for excellent connectivity, uh, uh, is, 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 is such an interesting uh, environment to be in because we can easily recapture the heat. So on those seven points, I, I think yeah. one of the things I already mentioned is by the design where we have immersion cooling together with traditional air cooling, there we can easily uh, fall within the envelope that the municipality of Amsterdam allows for in terms of PUE of 120. So on design, we can do way better. Uh, so we can have the discussion with our clients around the specific numbers, but it's, it's, it's a very interesting way uh, for both parties to win uh, uh, on that development. Second one is water. It's yeah. It wasn't a big question when we acquired the project two years ago. It's getting more and more 
um, scrutiny these days and attention, yeah. especially uh, for what is going on in certain parts of Europe, especially also in the US. Yeah. Um, and um, we are not using any drinking water for our cooling. So we are uh, using recycled water, industrial water, because we're in port area. That's another big, big advantage of being at the location where we are in the port area. Yeah. Third one is the heat reuse. Heat reuse, uh, given that we are doing a combination of technologies, we can um, uh, capture the heat better than in other data centers, but we have a cooperation agreement with the municipality of Amsterdam and with a big utility company to reuse the heat in the district heating network. Because also, again, the location, we are 250 meters out of the district heating network, uh, so we can pump in all the heat and we can heat with the heat that we have around 85,000 homes. So that's, I think, uh, first big project, big step in the Netherlands to do uh, such a such a large heat recapture from uh, data centers. Uh, fourth one is, is we're not using diesel, we're not using HVO uh, for the gensets, potentially in the future looking at hydrogen, because again, we're in port area, there will be a hydrogen loop, hydrogen grid in the in the area. So if the technology, the equipment is available, we'll, uh, we'll look into that and probably for second or third phase, uh, go for hydrogen as a, as a backup uh, uh, power system. Um, we're building on a small plot, so we're not using a lot of land, which is also, I think, very uh, uh, important from a sustainability agenda. Um, we're building the, the building in such a way that we could, if we would ever uh, need to use the building for another purpose, we could repurpose it to residential or to office because the, um, the clearance floor to ceiling is quite high. So we can easily put a floor in between uh, for those uh, other functionalities that we can give the building. And then last but not least, it's an important one. The way we build uh, the core and shell is in such a way that we can dismantle the entire building uh, and reuse uh, whatever comes out. So that's uh, mm -hmm. we've put a lot of attention to that uh, yeah. from the start. And I hope uh, while, we'll, while, we'll build, while we're building and that, that all of our stakeholders and clients will appreciate uh, what we've done in the design. Mm -hmm. It's so nice to hear something, you know, just a really clear platform with these seven pillars that you're mm -hmm. focused on. And uh, thank you for sharing that. And I'm, I'm sure a lot of folks that are tuned in now, uh, you know, or, or may want to connect with you here while in Monaco or after the show is over, uh, if they want to hear more, where can they go to connect with you? Well, they can, uh, they can look at our website, which is yeah. uh, silverfalcondc.com. Okay. Uh, there can, they can find a four-page document with a number of, uh, let's say, more essential information around the development. And, of course, they can reach mm -hmm. out uh, to me or, or any of the colleagues through the uh, contact details that are on the website. Perfect. So everything you just outlined will be on a clear document for download on your website. Definitely. Perfect. Yeah, we're not yeah. making it a secret. So all yeah. the things that we're doing, it's, it's any of those items is is uh, proven technology uh, so it's not rocket science but the way we combine all those things uh, makes us right. we believe uh, a very sustainable development fantastic so important thank you thank you for your time really appreciate you taking the time out of what is a very very busy day a busy 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 show uh, so thank you for thank taking you. the time to talk to us and thank you viewers for tuning in to jsa tv live today from data cloud global congress until next time